All right, here's what I've uh, got to demo today. Today I have a uh, Ernie Ball Music Man guitar. This is the uh, John Petrucci 7-string uh, model. And uh, this is the only 7-string I've got these days, but it's a really nice guitar, really well built, really solid, and uh, uh, pretty basic, you know, not, nothing too flashy. So it's got a basswood body, got a uh, bolt-on maple neck, and you can see this one's got uh, some nice bird's eye uh, figuring on it. Uh, it's got 24 frets, uh, rosewood fretboard, uh, locking tuners. Uh, got the Music Man kind of vintage looking trim down here, which actually stays in tune pretty well in the grand scheme of things. Uh, from an electronic standpoint, I actually just switched out the, elect the, uh, the pickups in here. So originally it had a couple proprietary DiMarzio pickups that only showed up in, in this model. Uh, but now uh, it's got a, a DiMarzio liquefier in the neck and uh, Crunch Lab in the bridge. So these are the new John Petrucci uh, Signature Series pickups. I think in the future these pickups will actually come stock in this guitar, but for now I actually had to switch it out myself. Um, so anyway, so these are new pickups. It's got a volume control, tone control, and a special three-way switch. So what's, what's special about it is you, you get the neck pickup in one position, the bridge pickup in one position, uh, but in the center position, the uh, you actually get both of the, the humbuckers split, so you get a really uh, crisp, clean tone. So uh, it's actually one of the best clean tones uh, I think I've heard on, on any electric guitar. So uh, it sounds really nice. So anyway, so that's the uh, guitar. Got it running into using Kettner Triamp head. So this is the first uh, version of the Triamp. And uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool amp. It, it's really well engineered. It's built like a tank. And uh, the way it's set up, it's got a basically six channels in it, or you can almost think of it as three pairs of channels. So 1A and 1B are kind of your cleaner channels, 2A and 2B are your crunch, and 3A and 3B are your, you know, your heavier tones, your solo tones. Uh, I think it's got like eight preamp tubes in it to pull that off, so it's got eight uh, 12A X7s in it. Uh, once you get past the preamp section in it, it's got two effects loops, so it's got a series loop and a uh, parallel loop, which is foot switchable. It's got spring reverb. Then the, the power section on it is uh, four 6L6s. Uh, so it puts out about 100 watts. Uh, this one, uh, uh, I like the 6L6 version of this amp. It's a little warmer sounding, a little creamier sounding. Uh, the newer versions have EL34s in it, which is, it's crunchier, I guess. Uh, you know, personal preference, I guess. Uh, you know, both of them are good good amps. It just kind of depends on, on what sort of a sound you're looking for. So anyway, so this one's got the 6L6s in it. Uh, it's feeding this Rocktron 412 cab, which is one of the Vendetta series cabs. It's got four uh, vintage 30s in it. That's Mike with an SM57, which is going on, uh, over to the, uh, the computer. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run through some different combinations of sounds uh, based on the, uh, uh, the pickups in the guitar and the amp. Uh, just to give you kind of a feel of uh, all the different uh, uh, different combinations we can get out of this. So uh, so we'll start with uh, channel 1A on the uh, uh, the triamp. So this is kind of the cleanest uh, of all the possible uh, all the possible tones. So that's uh, channel 1A. If I step up to 1B, you'll notice it has just a, a little bit more gain, but it's overall pretty similar in voicing. So now we'll move up to, to channel 2A. So 
2A and 2B are kind of the crunch tones. Uh, 2A is a little bit thinner, has a little less gain. Uh, actually, there are some situations where that, that uh, really, really works well in a mix. So I'll show off a, a, a few, uh, few different little riffs uh, using channel uh, uh, 2A for starters. <laughs> To describe it. I really like it for single note work, uh, you know, like single note riffs here and there, and then it also holds up really well for a, kind of a lower gain solo tone, too. <laughs> tones. 3A is a little bit smoother. Uh, it's probably a little less scoop sounding. So uh, it's good for both uh, very long sustained chords and it's also pretty good for solos too. So here's what 3A sounds like. <laughs> so it's a little bit more aggressive sounding, so uh, it sounds like this.